Ah, <laughs> he just told me to come tomorrow and, and take the money. Just like that. Ha, ah, my love, I am, I am so happy. But uh, he, I don't know why he was just uncomfortable around me. But what God cannot do does not exist. Tomorrow I'm getting the money. <laughs> what do you mean uncomfortable? I mean, his mood, the way he was behaving, he was just uncomfortable. I know he wasn't okay. I don't, but I can't tell what really was Okay. Mm -hmm. You wanted money. Now he has offered to help you. You are complaining about his mood. Is his mood your problem? Mm -mm, not... What is your business with his mood now? What is your concern with his mood? Eh? Please, when you get there tomorrow, collect the money and don't check mood. Don't check his mood. My love, what is it now? Uh -huh. uh -uh. Are you angry because of that? Obim, you don't want to enjoy this soup with me? Huh? My long life and prosperity. Why is he angry? She should be happy for me now. This is why I'm getting the money tomorrow. Huh? Oh, babe. She gone to. In came. My wife. Where are you? What is it? As you can see, I'm busy. I know. I haven't come to disturb you. I only came to tell you I am pregnant. Wow. That's good news. You're pregnant. How many months gone? Three months. Three months gone. That means you have like um, two more months to have another miscarriage. Mm -hmm. Five miscarriages, mercy. Five miscarriages. This is the sixth one and you are still proud to tell me you're pregnant. Is that supposed to be a news? Come on, say something new. Alex, why are you treating me like this? Why are you doing this? Why are you, why are you behaving like this? Is it my fault that I, I've had all these miscarriages? No, it's my fault. Is it my fault? Put the blame on me. No, tell me now. Is it my fault? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're pregnant. And so? Is that supposed to be a news? Knowing fully well that you will have miscarriage in the next few months. Please. Alex. Your yeah, friend, what's the about that? We're not going for And I go like potato in a J. Hey. 
Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, okay. How are you? I am fine, ma. Good afternoon. Thank you. I have good news. Good news? I am pregnant. Three months gone. Sorry. Sorry, ma. Is there a problem? No, nothing. Aren't you going to congratulate me? Oh. Congrats, ma. Congrats. Thank you. Pregnant. Three months ago. Look at you. Where are you going? Uh, I was just moving around. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm so tired. Uh, yes. I need to. Uh. Since you're home, let's go inside so you rest, okay? Exactly. Should I tell him now? Um, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Are you sure? Mm. Obim. Mm. Obim. 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 Are you okay? I've been observing you lately and you're not okay. Tell me, are you sick? I'm fine. Why are you throwing up? Talk to me, you're getting me scared. I'm pregnant. Huh? You are what? You're pregnant! Yes. Same thing with my madam. Three months? Yes. Oh, I mean, everything else. Of course. Of course. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. So I, I will soon I will soon be a father. Yes. This is this is the best news ever. My love. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm happy. Ah. You're pregnant! <laughs> this cause for celebration. Let us go inside. From now onwards, I don't want you to stress yourself again. Yes, inside please. Inside. My wife is pregnant. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ah. Thank you. Let us go inside. Ah. Three months pregnant. Ah. Inside. 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 Walk like a queen that you are. Majestically. My long life and prosperity. Go inside. Hey! <laughs> I'm happy. I am happy. You have remembered me. I will soon be a father, neighbors. <laughs> My love.
go. Thank you, my darling husband. You're my welcome, darling. my love. Hmm. So how is my baby doing? She is fine. <laughs> Are you sure she's fine? Yes, she's fine. Did you hear her heart beat? <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, I'm surprised because this pregnancy is the only one that has lasted to this point. Me too. I'm so excited about it. Very soon I'll become a father. I'm happy for us. <laughs> Thanks for making me proud. You are welcome, my darling. Oh. Bobby! No, 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 no. Ah, ah! What is this? No, I, I, no, no, no. How many times have I warned you not to stress yourself again in this house? Eh? You want to kill my unborn child? Mba, biko, 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 biko. Don't stress yourself. Anything consigned, sweeping, cleaning, pounding. Biko, don't do it again. Please. Obi, uh -uh. if I don't pound, how would you eat? Please, you can boil rice, any other thing, but anything that consigns pounding. Cleaning, sweeping, or doing any hard thing in this house, let it stop. Ha. I beg you. Obim, eh? you want to make me lazy. And eh? you just want to make me lazy. You don't know that these small, small things I'm doing keeps me busy. It will give me energy. I don't so want that... you to do it. Please listen to me. I don't want you to do it. My love, I cherish you so much. I love you so much with all my heart. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please listen to me. If you if you must pound, let me know on time. Okay? I will do it before leaving to work, but don't do it again. Whoopi. Yes. <laughs> My love, can you just please go inside? Eh? I don't want you to I don't want anything to happen to you, Biko, Biko, hey. Biko, Biko. I am not in that mood. I can never be in that mood. Whoopi. Long life and prosperity, please. <laughs> Obi. My long life and prosperity. Go inside and rest. Hey. Please, let me do this one. Eh? Leave it for me. I'll feed you. Yeah. Easy. Easy. <laughs> See my unborn child. You want to. Which way are you taking? Back or front? Anywhere? Okay. Move, 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 move. Gradually, my queen, move inside. Move inside, please. Thank you. Inside, inside, eh? Go inside. Just go in and rest, eh? Go in and rest. Ah. Oh, be missing anything on fire? No need to ask you. No need to ask you. I'm back. No more work in this house. Hello? Who is this? I'm fine. Who is on the phone? Yes? Why are you calling me? Yes, I am pregnant. Uh, and why do I need to tell you that I'm pregnant? What for? Sad. I'm almost due in nine months. Why should I let you know now? Why are you even still calling me? Eh? 
Please, I don't want trouble. What is all this now? Eh? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. This man wants to put me in trouble. Please don't block his number, sir. Why should I tell you I'm pregnant? Mama, this one you are pressing my belly like this. You've been checking, checking, checking. What is the problem? You might be ready. Ah, ready how? Hmm. Ready. This pregnancy that clocked nine months yesterday. Ready, ready for what? Okay. Uh, we will go to Mama next place. Hey. So go inside mm. and pack your things. Let's start going. Mama, oh? Mama, thank God you saw me outside. I am tired. I'm still trying to catch my breath from where I went to. I'm tired. I cannot start going anywhere. You can please oh. go inside and get ready. Mm -mm. Mama, I'm tired. I cannot start going anywhere now. My legs are still swollen. I'm still trying to catch my breath. I cannot mm. go anywhere now, Mama. Okay, oh. okay, please. Go inside and get ready. Let's start going. Mama, oh. no, no, nah, Mama. You can please enter inside. <sighs> Come, let's go inside. I might put to bed any moment now. We he suspects me if the baby doesn't look like him. That has been my worry. She will give birth in a week's time. A week's time? Yes. I told you. Mama, you scared me. You were just saying you are ready. You are ready. Thank you very much, Mane. You are welcome. Thank you. You are welcome. So bring her back in a week's time. We've done everything possible. Your baby's happy, cannot be heard. What? He is dead. What? That's okay. No, it's not okay. My husband, he's gonna throw me out. I can help you talk to him. No, 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 no. That, that there is no talking to my husband. You do not understand. There has to be a way out. Something, something has, something can still be done, right? Anything. There has to be a way out, how? I am 
sure there are other women who come here to give birth and you, you, you Oh, mercy, please. We do not do that in this hospital. I cannot do anything to tarnish the image of this hospital. It took us years to build. Doctor, we cannot. Doctor, please. Maria, you have to help me. Else my marriage will be over. Please. Mercy, please, if you know someone else, maybe other hospitals that could help you do that, you can go ahead. But please, my friend, we have to do everything possible to remove that child because it's not healthy to carry a dead child in the womb. No, no. We am not taking out this child until I am ready. Mercy. Sweetie. Food is ready. I'll be there in a second. Then I hurry up. Uh, Dad, hmm? don't forget to follow them at Stars Place so we can buy beans cake. We've not taken that route for three days now. You seem to have a soft spot for that girl and her grandma. Mm. Or is it all about their sweet account? Or is there something you're not telling me? Dad, nah, I just like them. But I like their, I like the taste of that piece of cake. Mm. Mm. You know, I know when you're being mischievous. And I think this is one of those times. Daddy, now nah, it's just about the bean cake, not too much. Are you sure? Mm. All right, let's go. Shady, open the gate. Good morning, sir. Adam, how are you? Fine. Good morning, ma. Esther, Rita is here. Oh. Hi, Esther. Oh, Rita. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Well, can I give us 1,000 naira? Oh, 1,000.
I almost put all my akara. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mama. Uh, are you going? Yes. Oh. Bye. There's something special about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There is something about me and you. Like a magnetic fire. But I cannot play safe. Just like sisters. You're my bestie. I wanna be with you every day. There's something special about me and you, and I call it a great bond. Great bond between me and you. You're like a sister and a bestie. Great bond, a system between me and you. Something unexplainable. I like Peter very much. She seems very nice. Mm -hmm. She is extremely good. She is good. I just wish I could see her. Maybe she's pretty. Look. Don't worry. Hmm? It's your food. Later we'll discuss that. Okay? I, it's a great bond. Mm -hmm. There's something special. About this connection, what about but so much commitment? There is something like about me and you. Dad, I want to be friends with you. I want to be 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 with you. I want but I feel she's lonely and needs someone beside her. She has like one more. Mm -mm. That I need someone her age. Like me. Mm -hmm. I like her. Babe. Mm. Did Rita tell you about wanting to see Esther? Oh. She told you to? Yes, she did. <laughs> She's serious about it. Very serious. And I think we should allow her. You know, she's just a young girl who feels for another young girl her age. Hmm? And the girl is less privileged. Okay. No problem. She can see her. I can even take her there myself tomorrow. There's something special about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There is something about me and you. Like a magnetic fire. But I cannot play safe. Just like sisters, you're yes. my bestie. Yes. I wanna be with you every day. There's something special about me and you, and I call it a great bond. Between me and you, you're like a sister and a bestie. Who is that? It's Rita and her father. Ah, oh, Rita. How are you? I'm fine. Lady, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for bringing my friend. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, my daughter said she wants to spend a day with your granddaughter. Oh, uh, that's very fine. And <laughs> um, I brought this thing. Thank you very much, my daughter. Ah! Thank you very much. All right, um, I have to run now, eh? Okay, Dad. If you need anything, just call me. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come inside. Come inside. Okay. Let's go. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> How are you? Oh, it's good. <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Bye bye. Bye. Uh, it's a great bond. It's a bond. There's something special about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There 
something about me and you Like a magnetic flow But I cannot place it Just like sisters You're my bestie I wanna be with you every day There's something special about me and you It's nice, mm -hmm. Carry your my money, make you carry me, go some visa. If I touch your body, make you touch under my shirt, nigga. And get your love, don't blind me, I go be like Baba Fryo. If I call me Sasha, you go carry my empire. Ah, Grandma, you say. Grandma, I'm not going to be And you people should behave very well, eh? I'm going to the market. Oh, okay. Oh. Bye. 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 See, we have the old house to ourselves now. <laughs> so let's listen to more music. There is something about me and you. Like that magnetic flower. But I know. But my love, your body my pressure. Body cool my pressure. There's something special. About me and you, and I call it a great bond. Great bond between me and you. You're like a sister and a bestie. Great bond existing between me and you. Something unexplainable. Great bond. There is this connection. No, it's really fun walking around like this. Although I do it alone, but I like it. No, especially when the breeze is cold. Are you okay? Hmm? I'm fine. <laughs> You're I'm sure? Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Listen to this. You will like it. Put it to your other ear. Take it. Yeah. Do you like it? It's nice. I think I've heard it before. Of course, it's a popular song. Everyone has probably heard it. But wait, let me change it to this one. Come on, let me change it. What of this? No, I don't know it. <laughs> this is actually my best song, my favorite song. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Don't worry, I will teach you how to sing it. Mm -hmm. Well, need a friend for me. Say, I never call you, see? I don't know. Every day I will pray for you. Make you, Baba, God bless you. I'll never forget. So that was what my grandmother told me. She said, my father died a few days before I was born. He died in an accident. And the accident destroyed his body that he couldn't be recognized. It was only by his clothes they were able to recognize him. And my mother, she died after my birth. That is really a sad one. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry about that. It's okay. But my grandma, she's trying her best, you know, to teach me things. And I'm very happy. <laughs> My dad. Oh, My dad is here. Yeah. Dad. No. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Hope you have fun. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day, lady. How are you? Welcome, sir. Madam, um, I'm happy. Okay. 
<laughs> Take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Bye. 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 All right. Mama, help me sit down. Are you crying? You are crying. You are crying. This is tears now. Stop crying, okay? No, she will call some other time. No? You're not crying. I, I just, just smile for me. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she could see me and everyone around her. I wish he could see me. Who? Oh. My friend, Esther. Oh. Mm. You say, sweetheart, you don't have to beat yourself over this. It's not your fault. I can't stop thinking about what she told me. About how her parents died. Her father died in an accident while her mom died while giving birth to her. It just seems like we are sisters. That is so sad. Hmm? But then again, these things just happen. No one knows why God allowed these things to happen to her. But why? Why will God allow such a thing happen to her? It's too much. Sweetheart, come. Listen. We cannot question God. Okay? Okay. Mama. Do you know that Rita was really nice to me yesterday? I, I just wish she could be coming every day. I know how you feel by seeing someone who likes you. But keeping a relationship with her is not a good idea. Mama, why is that? They are rich people and we are poor. For you to keep a relationship with her is not a good idea. I don't want trouble. But Rita is not a trouble person. I know she's not a trouble person, but when you keep a friendship with her, that's been strong for us. Grandma, I don't think there will ever be trouble between us. We are cool. Esther, just start getting ready. When I'm done packing, we are going. Eh? This is the third day and you're not taking a star route. You don't even want to tell me why. Uh, this route is shorter. No, Dad. It makes us six minutes late than normal. Rita, as you can see, I'm driving. If you don't want us to get an accident, keep quiet. This is what you do anytime I bring up a discussion. You, 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 you talk me out of it. Why do I feel you're intentionally trying to keep me away from her? Why? What will I get? That's not what I'm doing. You know, that game makes me feel like she has another half of me with her. I... Dad, what, what happened? Listen, that girl is poor. You both are not of the same class. She can never be your friend. Do you understand? When I decide to come to London, I'll let you know. Happy go to London, and All right now. Dope. 
Dad, I want to visit Esther again. That's not possible. That was the first and last. How? I, I don't understand. Why? Listen. You will not visit that poor blind girl again, and that's fine now. Dad, she might be poor and blind, but she's my best friend. A sort of monarch, Ako Bestie. You have many other friends in school. Feel free to choose another bestie. Feel free to visit any of them. But you see that poor blind girl, you will never set your eyes on her again. Dad. Don't hurt me. What am I going to do? I need to go to their house. But my parents wouldn't let me. Maybe I will just escape. Huh? They won't find a threat. That's what I'm going to do. What have you done to me? I need you. Oh yeah. Believe me. Believe me. My, my dad is calling you. Eh? He said you should hold me up. Ruth, go and sign him. In the hear my music. Yes, now. I beg, now pray, I pray. Be fast, call in your name. Be fast, though, before he gets angry. Rush now, rush, rush. Something special about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There is something about me. Good afternoon, ma'am. Does your father know you are here? Yes, I, I sought his permission before coming. And he accepted? Yes. Do you think he will not allow me to see Esther? I didn't say so. I'm just surprised that you are here. Hey, your friend is inside. Thank you, ma. I am a secret bond. Why, why this, this girl go come tell me, see, Oga okay, defy me inside? I just go inside. I don't see Oga. Okay? Oga okay, no defy me. You come make me, I just run around like, like mad dog. Which, 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 which kind, which kind pranker, pranker with this, this girl, they use me, me, me. After how many years, why don't they for, for, this, for this business? It's a great bond. Chidi, have you seen my daughter? Uh, Madam, your, your daughter. I know Siam. Have you seen my daughter? Oh, uh, Madam, um, yeah, uh, yes. No, I know Siam. I know Siam. What a fool. Where could she? Rita! Rita! Nah, they don't do me baptism now because of this girl. For this hot afternoon, I don't collect food. If she come inside now, come out, you go give me foolish, complete her. But why this gate they open? Who opened this gate? 
Because I know say not only me, they lock this gate. Not only me give the password for this gate. Who opened this gate? Bill I say, Bill I say something they happen. Something why I never why I never understand it happened. Make you no come be waiting at the tinko. Make you no come be waiting at the tinko. I be old man for this for this security work. Oh. Eh? Why why this this girl go come tell me see okay they find me inside. You have to go back to your father's house. This is not right. They might be looking for you. Mom, please. Let me just stay for one hour and I will go. No. Go back home. You would have told your parents before coming. I did. I told them. But they won't let me go. I paid very high transport to come here. I don't want to waste it. Just an hour and I will go. <laughs> Mama, please. Just let her stay. Please. What if they look for her and discover that she is here? But Mama, she says she should just stay for an hour and you leave, please. Please, Ma, please. An hour, you will leave? Mm. Yes, I promise. You promise? I don't want your parents to come here to be fighting me. No, they won't. They won't even notice I've left the house. Mm. Uh, yes, they won't notice. Mm. No, I promise. Please. Just an hour, you will leave. So you keep to your promise? Yes. Okay, no, I, I'm, I'm just being scared. I don't want trouble. I don't have strength. That is why. Mama, mm -hmm. can she stay? Yes, let her stay now. <laughs> Mama, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Ma, thank but, you so much. But just keep to your promise. Yes, she I will, will. Mama. Okay. Thank you. Ma, thank you. How have you been? I'm fine. I've missed you so I've much. I've missed you too. <laughs> Oh no, I miss you. <laughs> Did you see her? I've searched everywhere. She's nowhere to be found. Where could she be? I don't know. Could it be that she's hiding somewhere? No. Trust me, she's not in this house. She left after pranking the gate man. Uh-uh. My daughter would never do that. You never can tell. Children of these days are unpredictable. Well, even if she did, why would Chidi allow a little girl prank him? Huh? That makes Chidi a stupid gate man. I will visit his case file later. Oh, God. Where could she be? Look, if anything happened to my daughter, I swear No, to you don't have to swear. Talk to your daughter. Yes, talk to your daughter because she is getting on my nerves with her mischievousness. Talk to her. That's your way, chain. It's my daughter's fault now. Huh? So it's my daughter's fault now. Look, God knows if anything happens to my daughter, where Chidi will have me to deal with. There's something special about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There is something about me and you. You know, I forgot my phone at home. I know my parents will be calling me. They must really love you. Yes, they do, and I love them too. <laughs> Rita. Do you think my parents will love me if they were alive? Of course they will. You are that child, so why wouldn't they love you? They will. Rita, ma, you've not gone yet. Yes, ma. Can we make it two hours? Rita, it's been over one hour now. Eh? Please, you have to start going now. Ma, please. Please, I don't have any, I, I don't have strength for parents' problem. Biko, Biko.
Mama, please. Please let her stay, please. I beg you. Just two hours and then she'll leave. Yes, if I don't go, chase me. Rita, from one hour now to two hours. Maybe from two hours now, you tell me that you want to sleep over. No, 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 no. just two hours, two hours. Something special about this connection. What a bad, but so much commitment. I told you your grandma will listen to us. <laughs> You know, my grandma is a very good woman. Yes, she is. You're my bestie. I want to be with you every day. There's something special about me and you. And I call it a great bond. Great bond. Between me and you. You're like a sister. And the bestie. Great bond. A sister between me and you. Something unexplainable. Great bond. I have been driving for almost an hour now without knowing where I'm heading to. I don't even know where I am going to. The blind girl. Yes. Esther. A system between me and you, something unexplainable. Great bond. There is this connection, it's mysterious. So to go yeah. There's something special about this connection What a bad but so much commitment There is something about me and you But I cannot play safe Chimo Hey. What is it? My dad. My dad is here. Jesus. God, I'm dead. Hey! <laughs> dad, dad, you're welcome. You are becoming stubborn and stupid, and I don't like it. Get into the car! They are fond of each other. Madam, you are not supposed to allow someone's daughter to stay in your house for too long. You want me to arrest you for kidnapping? Sorry, it's okay. Common sense should have told you that we, the parents, will be worried and searching for her everywhere. Dad, I, I told her you allowed. Shut up! Get into the car! I said, get into the car. Sir, sir, please don't do anything. Okay, shut up. You thought that you're blind now, Agaka. I told you. I told you I don't want your problem. Eh? Have you seen it? Have you seen it now? I told you earlier. All these big men, I don't need their trouble. I don't need their wahala. Have you seen it? Have you seen what you have cost now? A system between me and you, something unexplainable. Great bond, there is this connection, it's mysterious. So, yeah, I cannot let you go. Mama, please beg them to bring Rita for me. Oh, Grandma, please. Mm. You know she's like a sister to me. I allow them to take her everywhere. Esther, what is wrong with you? Eh? You were here when her father scolded me for, for keeping her in my house. Eh? Do you want to bring trouble for me? Grandma, you know that she's like a sister to me. You know I love her so much and you allow them to take her everywhere. She is a friend, not a sister. So let her go to her house. Both of you will meet next time, okay? When? Grandma, when? Oh, Grandma, please. I don't want her to ever leave me, please. It's okay, stop crying. No, stop, no, stop. no. Stop, Esther, stop crying. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Nonsense. You are in trouble. No, you are in trouble. Huh? How could you? You have the guts to sneak out of our house. You sneaked out at this your age. No fear. You see what I'll do to you? What if something happened to you? What if something bad happened to you? How would we know? Eh? That's the Don't tell me that bullshit. You have other school friends, don't you? You have classmates. No, Esther is the only person I want to. I want her to be my friend. I want only her to be my friend. I want her. My friend, will you shut up? You're not serious. You're not just serious. You don't even know what you want. Let's get home first. You are in trouble. Just know that you are in trouble. I'm looking for a better punishment for you. A defeating punishment. <laughs> Your daughter is still crying. I don't care. I'm adding no TV to the list. What? You might as well kill her if that is what you want. I want her to go to boarding school. Is it because of what happened today? I just don't want her around here. Come on. Our daughter has a problem with socialization. And this one time she makes a friend, we're going to deprive her from it. Why? I just don't want it. No problem. All right? But I don't see anything wrong in her being friends with Esther. We should be encouraging her, not changing her school. Listen. I pay her school fees. For that reason, I decide which school she goes to. That is selfish. That is not fair. Please. I don't want to take chances. I am as a great band. There's something special about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There is something about me and you. Like a magnetic But I cannot place it. Just like sisters, you're my bestie. I wanna be with you every day. There's something special about me and you. And I call it a great bond, great bond between me and you. You're like a sister and a bestie, great bond existing between me and you. Something unexplainable, great bond. There is this connection, it's mysterious. So yeah, I cannot let you go. There's something special about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There is something about me and you. Like a magnetic rocking. Rita. Mom, just go away. Honey. just the same. Look, your father wants nothing short of the best for you. Seriously? Including beating me from seeing the only friend I have? Do you know what? Just open the door so we can talk about this, alright? Never. Just leave me alone. I want to be left alone. Rita. Rita.
find something special about this connection. What a bad, but so much commitment. There is something about me and you. Like a magnetic But I cannot place it. Just like sisters. Sorry, oh. Sorry. Mama. How can I see my friend? Huh. You and I know very well that can't be possible. Her father don't like us because we are poor. Hmm? Mama, what if you tell him I'm very sick and I want to see her? Well, allow me see her, right? Esther, your illness cannot change his mind. Just, just calm down first. And just get well, oh? Get well first. Oh? So. So. I don't want to go to the boarding school. Look, I have spoken to your father, but he won't budge. Why? Why don't dad want to see me around, Esther? I'm not doing anything bad. I know. Of course I know you are not doing anything bad. But he has his reasons. What reason? Tell me. Is it because she's blind? Yes. Dad don't want to see me around Esther because she's blind. Honestly, sweetheart, I do not know. Right? But... But in school could be fun, you know? I don't want to go. Listen, there is nothing I can do about this. There is nothing you can do about this. The earlier you accept this and move on, the better. Okay? Fine. But at least, can I see her before I go? Please. All right, I'll see what I can do, but I am not making any promises. I'll try, okay? Thank you, Mom. Of course. Come here, baby. <laughs> you see, but in school, it's fun. <laughs> There's something special about this connection. What about you? Now, why are you squeezing your face? It's school you're going to. You're not going to die. Huh? Don't worry, I promise you, I'll call your friend. I'll check up on her. Make sure she's okay. Okay? Smile a little now. Mm -hmm. Your father is waiting for you outside. Don't worry, I'll help you with that. Thank you, Mom. Welcome. And I call it a great bond, great bond between me and you. You're like a sister and the best thing, great bond existing between me and you. Something unexplainable, great bond. There is this connection, it's mysterious. It's a food. I'm hungry. Why you are not hungry? But you've not eaten anything since morning. Please eat your food. I'm hungry. We don't be coming again, right? Who said so? Hmm? What is what is good about this Rita that you love her so much? I don't know. I just love her so much. I don't want her to ever leave my side. I love her so much. I feel good around her. She told me her dad does not want her close to me. That is why he made her go to boarding school. Now she won't be close to me again. Don't worry. Just eat your food. Hmm? I don't I'll want. Ne I'll never have to come back. No. Is it because I'm blind? No. Who said so? He does not like me. No. No. She loves you so much, okay? Eat your food. I'll make her to come back. I don't trust you. I promise you. you. You don't trust your grandma? No. You don't trust me again? Mm -mm. Okay, just trust me. I'll make her to come back. Just eat your food first. Tell her to come. When she comes, I'll eat. Please now, eat your food. Mm -mm. Good 
morning. Oh. Good morning. Hey. You're not with your granddaughter. She doesn't want to leave the house. She is so sad since her friend left for boarding school. Her friend? Yes. She of her friends. Her father's August daughter now. Uh -uh. Are they friends? Yes, so. She likes my granddaughter so well. Very, very well. How did she know her? Hmm. How did she know Esther? My sister. She saw her at the shop the day they came to buy her car. Since then, they start fret. <clears throat> Please don't just start. What is but, <clears throat> but I've not said anything. It's just that, like, that uh, West fly. Please, 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 please. I didn't say anything, no, but how can they start liking each other like that? My friend, please, bye bye. We go bye bye. Oh? Bye bye. Greet her for oh. me, oh. Mm. Nah, sure. Greet her for me, oh. I will, I will, I will. He's been acting weird lately. Do you think he knows? I wouldn't know. Mercy, one thing is sure. He is going to find out this mess by himself someday. And the earlier you let him know by yourself, the better for you. Wait, 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 wait. Are you by any chance suggesting that I should tell him myself. That's the only way out. Uh-uh, no. No, no, I can't. <laughs> That's still your choice. But just be ready to bear the consequences when it explodes. Because it's going to explode someday. And it's not far again. I've said my own and I've done my part. Since of the past is coming to me Something I did out of arrogance then Oh how can I face it? Oh it's so shameful How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday Has blinded my headway How can I face it? Oh how can I stand it? Oh is the I wish the ground can open up Come and swallow me Swallow me Cause I'm ashamed of myself You're weak. Why are you not sleeping? I don't feel like sleeping Is something wrong? Huh? I said I don't feel like sleeping Do you know for some time you've been acting strange. You're always quiet, you keep to yourself. Is there something I need to know? You, you can't you can tell me. Scenes of the past is coming to me. Something I did out of arrogance then. Now you want to sleep. Sit. Oh, it's so shameful. How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded my headway. How can I face it? Oh, how can I stand it? Oh, I wish the ground can open up. Come and swallow me. Swallow me. Cause I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. How are you? I'm fine. I know you're surprised to see me. So never mind. What of Esther? Esther is inside. Okay. She's fine. This is for you. Yes. Buy whatever you want with it. Why are you giving us money? Charity. Charity? What? Yes, let's just say charity. Thank you very much, Mama. I'm in a hurry. I have to leave now. Okay. Bye bye, oh. All right. I was a chill, oh. My regards to Esther.
Listen, Rita's father gave me some money to buy something for you. I don't want his money. He turned his money back to him. He took Rita away from me. Do you know what this money can do for us? You should be happy. I'm not happy. Mama, he took my friend away from me. I don't want his money. I want to leave Rita. He turned his money back to him. Kizu de mwa bozefa, eh? Eh? What is wrong with this girl? Eh? Return his money back to him. It's not both of us that will use his money. Let me get his girl age where that's your son. Hey, go, Ibo. Just imagine. How will you come where that's your girl? This is such a amount of money. Hey, go, Ibo. Yes, please, I am. What? Uh, what is wrong? What exactly is wrong with her? Is she okay? And Hello? something special Hello? about this connection. What about but so much commitment? There is something about me and you. Like that magnetic but I cannot play safe yeah. Just like sisters yeah. You're my bestie yeah. I wanna be with you every day There's something special About me and you And I call it a great bond Between me and you You're like a sister And the bestie Great bond A system between Thank you for the snacks Are you also angry like that because I'm back? Are you okay now? Yes. If you and dad sent me back to that boarding school, I would die. What? Baby, don't say a thing like that. Why will I not? Why will you send me away so I can stop seeing my friend? The next time you and dad send me back to that boarding school, mom, I will kill myself. I knew this won't last. I knew she wouldn't stay and you knew that too. Let's not take her threat lightly. This is not normal. How do you mean? What do you mean, how do I mean? If you don't understand, rest. Wait, I do not understand. Listen, stop asking me unnecessary questions. Why are you getting angry? I just asked you a simple question. Well, listen and listen real good. I am not minding her threats. She is going back to that boarding school and that's final. Why is he getting angry for just a question? Why? Why is he, why is he, why is he mad? I miss Esther. Mom, I want to see her. Excuse me? Yes, I, I want to see Esther. Rita, you're barely one day old in this house and you're talking about seeing Esther. What's up with you and that girl? Is this the reason you faked sickness and so that we can bring you back home? Fake sickness? I don't fake any sickness. I'm just missing her. I want to see how she's feeling. You're not seeing anybody. Simple. Ha. Me, I will see Lester. I want to see Esther, Dad. I want to see Esther. Hey. Blood of Zachariah. Did you just see that? Just calm down, eh? You know this girl is still a child. You are the one spoiling this girl. You keep tolerating whatever she does, all in the name of she's a child. Honey, calm down. 
Eh, I'm sorry. But come to think of it. Are you sure there are no other reasons, I mean, why you don't want our daughter to associate to Esther? Because each time they mention this girl's name, you act strange. You get angry, like now. Is there something you're not telling me? of the past is coming to me something I did out of arrogance then oh how can I face it oh it's so shameful how can I stand this the smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded my headway how can I face it oh how can I stand it oh I wish they could I wish the ground can open up Come and swallow me Swallow me Cause I'm ashamed of myself I'm sorry Please forgive me Come up and up Come and swallow me Oh If I can turn back the hands of time I will right my wrongs Since of the past is coming to me Something I did out of arrogance then Oh how can I face it? Oh it's so shameful How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday Has blinded my headway How can I face it? Oh how can I stand it? Oh I wish the ground I wish the ground can open up Swallow me, swallow me Cause I'm ashamed of myself I'm sorry, please forgive me Come up and up, come just swallow me Oga, where do you go? Oga, where do you go? Oga, I agree Oga? Okay. Oga, okay. good afternoon, sir. I, I, I see make a greet. What is it? Oga, okay. um, um, I... Shh. Get lost. Lost. Okay, greetings, sir. Get out of this place, my father. Scenes of the past is coming to me. Something I did out of arrogance then. Oh, how can I face it? Oh, it's so shameful. How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday. What is really going on? My head way. How can I face it? Oh, how can I stand it? Oh, I wish the ground can open up. Where are my children? Where are my daughters? Where are my children? Where are my daughters? Where are my daughters? Where are my children? Where are my daughters? Where are my daughters? Where are my daughters? Where are my children? Please, I'm angry! Where are my children? 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 Where are my I'm having a slight headache. Drink water. Okay. It's been happening for a while now. I can't shut my eyes without seeing that woman trying to take my daughter away. That's so strange. I know. The strangest part of it is, it's the same woman I see every other night. Are you thinking she could be the real mother? I don't 
No. I never met the real mother. It happened between my auntie and I. Mercy. I still insist you let your husband know. So that the both of you can find the real mother together. Please. And then what? Hmm? If I find the real mother, what next? Hand my daughter over to her? I wouldn't know. Oh, no. I am not doing that. That would be me jeopardizing my marriage by myself. No, that's a bad idea. So what do you want to do now? I don't know, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Mercy, you have to think very fast. Because you already know, you already know the consequences of your husband finding out this mess by himself. Think fast. You know, maybe I should go see my auntie. I haven't heard from her in years. I'm sure she would have something to say to me or know something. You know, I don't know. I don't know. That's better for you. You have to do that. I need to go, all right? Uh, I'll let you know as things unfold. It's okay. You have been strong from the one. Keep being strong. Thank you. I'm here for you. Mercy. Mercy. Oh. Are you okay? You're here. Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure you're fine? You were lost in thought. I'm alright. Thank you. Okay. I have an emergency. So I'm off to work. It's a Sunday. It's an emergency. Alright. I'll see you when you're back. My dad went for a meeting, that's why my mom allowed me to come. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. It's fine. I got you something. Oh, what is that? It's an MP3 with your music in it so that whenever you're bored, you can just listen to them. Oh, thank you very much. It's not in trust me. Feel it. I, I wish I could see it. But at least you can feel it. Hmm? Don't worry, I'll teach you how to use it. So, once you hold it like this, and you touch the first button, that is the only button. Okay. So you press it for long. She was so happy when I gave her the I even taught her how to operate it, and she grabbed it very fast. You don't see? <laughs> yes, Mom. She must be very happy to have you as a friend. Of course. Yeah. Mom, are you okay? Why do you ask? Your mood just changed. Oh, never mind. I'm fine. Sweetheart, I'm going to let you rest now, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you. And I love you so much. I'll see you. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm going. Baby. Mercy. Why are you always lost in thought these days? Are you okay? Look, I'm fine. It's nothing, all right? No, on the contrary, I have had a lot on my mind lately and I would want to discuss something with you. Okay. I'm all ears. I... I allowed our daughter to see the blind girl. Excuse me. Yes, I had to do that. You know, they need to be together. They, they, they are friends. You know? You took Rita to the blind girl without my consent. Are you serious? I, I just feel there's something about that girl that you're not telling me. Why do you hate her family suddenly? Huh? They're, they're young. We should allow them to be friends. I can't believe we are exchanging words because of that poor blind girl. As you can see, I'm tired. When I sleep and wake up, we shall decide on that poor blind girl. Oh, I, I think I'm coming. Yesterday, two or four. Rita, you are becoming very stubborn and disrespectful, and I don't like it. But that Esther told me you visited them and offered them money to take care of themselves. And so, mm? is that enough reason for you to visit them as well? Wait, what, honey? What's she saying? That's not what we are talking about. No. Okay. But is it true what she just said? Yes. You visited them and you gave them money? Yes. What do you even want? You are scolding my daughter for visiting the same girl you visited and gave money. I don't understand. Well, I felt for the poor blind girl. That is the same way I'm feeling. Uh-uh. I need an explanation. Please. You know what? I don't have time for this conversation. Alex! Alex! What's we? Don't do that. Alex, you still haven't told me what you went to do at Esther's place. But I already told you. I visited them and dashed their money out of pity. Is that all? You think it's not all? Well, I wouldn't know. That is why I am asking you, so you tell me. But I already told you, I went there and dashed their money out of pity. Simple. You wouldn't let your daughter associate with this family. And all of a sudden, you have become a philanthropist going about giving money to Esther and her family, the same family you were against. Is that something you are not telling me? I'm tired of this conversation. Change topic. Huh? You better be telling me everything. You just better be. Alex, I hope that is all. Can I stand it? Oh, I wish the grand can open up. Come and swallow me. Swallow me. Cause I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Come up and come. Just swallow me. Oh, if I 
can turn back the hands of time I will right my wrongs Since of the past is coming to me Something I did out of arrogance then Oh how can I face it? Oh it's so shameful How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded me what do I owe this old to visit? I'm here to see you. To see me. One day you look worried. Is everything all right? Talk to me. Who's the problem? Mama Ne. Who's the problem? I am sure my husband is hiding something from me. What could it be? Could it be about that blind girl? There must be a reason he doesn't want Rita to visit her. I have applied all the trick I can to squeeze the truth out of him, but he keeps avoiding it. I think I should visit Esther's grandmother. Henry, what brings you to my house? I came to make a confession. Confession how? Your daughter won't let me rest. You mean Esther? No. Nkem? Nkem? Nkem, who died 15 years ago? She won't let me rest. She comes to my dream whenever I close my eyes to sleep. She, she wants me to make a confession and tell you everything that happened. Confession about what? About her children. I still don't understand what you are talking about. Which children are you talking about, Biko? She gave birth to two children. <sighs> yes. One died and one lived. That was what I told you. It wasn't so. They both actually lived. So you lied to me. Mawane, you lied to me. I am sorry. My brother's daughter had the problem. Her child died in her womb just two weeks to her delivery. So I had to swap the baby. But I was there when my daughter gave birth to the children. After a few seconds, one died and other lived. I made it seem like that, but it wasn't so. My do brother's daughter, her, this marriage was at the verge of breaking up because of childlessness. Mercy, this one you came to see me today in my maternity home. I hope all is well. I know you will not come to your auntie's place to give birth. You will always go to all those your big, big hospitals. So what brings you here today? I hope it's not pregnancy related. But it is. Only that it is not what you are thinking. But what is it? My baby is dead. Your baby? Which baby? Huh? Which baby? The baby in my womb. How? I do not know. The doctor says they cannot hear his heartbeat. Oh my God. Auntie, this is not a time to lament. I do need help. And fast. I cannot tell my husband about this. If he hears of it, he's going to throw me out and marry another wife. Please, auntie, you have to help me. So you want to swap your dead baby? Yes. <clears throat> this is... Um, 
woman who is heavy as you are. And she's due this week. Are you going to help me? Why not? Yes. You are my brother's daughter. I would do anything for you. But what we are going to do, no ears, no eyes will see or hear about it. We have to be very, very careful. Be rest assured, Auntie. Thank you. You don't need to tempt me. You are my brother's daughter. I will do anything for you. There's nothing I cannot do for you. Scenes of the past is coming to me. Something I did out of arrogance then. Oh, how can I face it? Oh, it's so shameful. How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded my headway. How can I face it? Oh, how can I stand it? Oh, I wish the grand I wish the grand can open up. Come and swallow me. Swallow me. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Come up and up. Come just swallow me. Oh, if I can turn back the hands of time, I will right my wrongs. Sins of the past is coming to me. Something I did out of arrogance then. Oh, how can I face it? Oh, it's so shameful. How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded my headway. How can I face it? Oh, how can I stand it? Oh, I wish the ground can open up. Come and swallow me. Swallow me. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Come up and up. Come just swallow me. Oh, if I can turn back the hands of time, I will right my wrongs. Oh, sins of the past is coming to me. Something I did out of arrogance then. Oh, how can I face it? Oh, it's so shameful. How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded my headway. How can I face it? Oh, how can I stand it? Oh, I wish the ground can open up. Come and swallow me. Swallow me. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Come up and up. Come just swallow me. Oh, if I can turn back the hands of time, I will right my wrongs. Sins of the past is coming to me. Something I did out of arrogance then. Oh, how can I face it? Oh, it's so shameful. How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded my headway. How can I face it? Oh, how can I stand it? Oh, I wish the ground can, the ground can open up. Come and swallow me. Swallow me. So, where is the other child? She lives at the other end of the, the village. Mane, I trusted you so much. I trusted you so much. I don't even know that you do such a thing to me, Mane. Upon the fact that my daughter did not survive the childbearing, Mane. I'm sorry. So. I have another granddaughter aside, Esther. Yes. <sighs> Mane. Mane. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please come with me. Let me take you to where she stays. 
so that I can be free from your daughter's torment. <sighs> I'm sorry, please stop crying. I know I have really wronged you. I am sorry. I'm very sorry. You betrayed me, my dear. I am sorry. Face it, oh, it's so shameful. How can I stand this? The smoke from the fire of yesterday has blinded my head. How can I face it? Oh, how can I stand it? Oh, I wish the ground can open up. I wish the ground can open up. Come and swallow me. Swallow me. So I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Where is my daughter? She won't leave her room. Take me to her room. Hands of time. I will write my wrongs. Oh, 